He's also got this like he's by. got this huge like pocket fold phone condom thing. <laughs> it's got like multiple fo folds on it, and so like there's like this unwrapping process that he's got to go it's through to flap. It's a flap. to go through to use a phone. <laughs> I've never seen anybody have such a gigantic phone condom. My mom got me the flap, so I, you know, I use it. So Eric is basically uh, what we'd call a double wrapper. basically being able to travel anywhere and trade and you know you're you're making money every single day and you're, you're doing your thing most days most days sorry but you basically are doing it from anywhere you want to do it I mean we've been we moved three times here in Charleston in the past week we have so, I like to stay at new places yeah so um, so you're not doing your meat on for those that are kind of in that phase where you know they're over the, the beginner portion, you know, they're starting to make a bit of consistent money. I mean, oh yeah, get out of what would, you, what would you say for those people to kind of set themselves up to be prepared to start doing, you know, this type of lifestyle? Or do they even need to? It's just kind of a get up and go type I think it's just a get up and go. You got to make the decision, like, to do it. The problem is, it always looks good in theory, right? Yeah. You're like, yeah. Um, oh man, it'd be so nice to be like Cameron. My buddy Cameron's in Thailand. Right, or I've lived in all sorts of different places, Hawaii, Bali, a month at a time. Um, it always looks good on paper, like, oh man, it'd be so cool. Yeah. But then there's like the small inconvenience that nobody, uh, that people get in their heads. Oh, well, I got like, I just paid for a three month gym membership. Yeah, yeah. I just paid for a three month gym membership. Oh, I'm in Twy Lopez's social media marketing program. I'm supposed to be calling these businesses to win my car. Um, right, I've got my third third cousin's uh, birthday party coming up. And you think this is like, it's funny, right? We're like, huh, like who'd give a fuck about all this shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And then nice. like, we all, like even when we were leaving Destin, I'm like, damn Eric, man, we've been working out so hard. Yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna be on the road, drinking beer. Like doing stupid shit, and like you kind of convince yourself, like, oh, should I go? Should I go? And I mean, for me, I just always go, but yeah. most people don't go, even when they can't. It's got to. I think it's got to be like the the adventurous part of you has to outweigh that, like the fear of the unknown. You know, getting into yeah, that yeah. Unknown. Like uh, we got all day in our chat room. He's from. He's a Jersey boy. And he's like 25, professional trader, very good trader, probably one of the best traders in our chat room. And I'm always making fun of him. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of the house and go out and travel a little bit. And he's like, dude, I went to Boston before. <laughs> and you know, Boston's fairly close to New Jersey, but he's like, dude, I travel all the time. I've been to Boston before. And it's like so nonchalant. He's like, dude, I've done things. And I loved it, man. That's one of the favorite things I like about him. But it was awesome, right? Very telling. Hey, 25 years old. You should be out uh, in Brazil talking to mamacitas, <laughs> drinking capoeiras. Would you say it's a good idea to kind of decrease your, your monthly bills? Like, say, if you got a car payment or you got a gym membership or whatever it is, before you start, like, say, if you want to go on an extended uh, travel adventure? Yeah, it depends on how long you are. I mean, if you're gone for a month, then yeah, you don't just sell all your shit uh if you're gonna be gone for a year then yeah i mean get rid of your pet right i mean or rent it out or get rid of your car or rent it out or you know you could do all that for me i mean i'm older so if i was in my 20s i would just get rid of all the stuff now you know i'm in my 30s it's not necessarily to save like two three thousand dollars is not yeah it's not worth it for me because I like all my stuff. Yeah. And I don't like renting out my house because I don't want anybody banging in my bed. 
even if you're gonna get does get washed. That's fair enough, I can understand. <laughs> Out of the places that you've been to, which is like the one place you'd really recommend? Um, the place I go back to the most is Costa Rica. Yeah. Um, and I typically, I mean, I'm more of into scenic stuff, so, I mean, I'm not into, okay, like I gotta go to this awesome city. Like I wouldn't stay in like New York City or something. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know, when you're working from home, you're by yourself all the time. You like, you need to get outside a little bit. So I like scenic places. So that's why I like Colombia and Hawaii. And like the place I usually recommend are more beachy type or mountainous type, you know, just like that outdoors, that outdoor Z lifestyle. Because when you're trading, you're always stressed out. If you can go out and walk around a little bit, you feel really good. And even in Charleston, I mean, this is like city life. But like, you know, it's 75 degrees. Like, it's just nice. Like, there's not much crowds here. You know, it's good food. So, you know, I don't consider this too city. So, you know, I don't mind coming here. And when I do want like a little bit of city life, this is where I come. What about a place that you wouldn't recommend? <laughs> oh, man. Probably Miami. <laughs> Miami or Los Angeles. Los Angeles, because a lot of traffic and the nightlife is not that good but it's super expensive so and you gotta wake up at the butt crack of dawn but I actually really do like LA but not if you're on like a trading sabbatical if you were there working or building your business LA is awesome if you're in the media business social media business marketing what any business really then LA is awesome but if you're just trading on your own and you're not really building a business beyond your business that needs people yeah. then you know the cost is prohibitive the traffic is a waste of time every hour is a waste of your day and then you know you gotta wake up at the butt crack of dawn you know so like that kind of stuff is not worth it in Miami same thing you know you, you want to do anything in Miami you want to go out get a little day pass do a little Nikki's Beach or whatever you want to do that fucking shit is expensive you want to go to live Oh, you want to go to Story? Uh, unless you know a lot of babes, and even if you do, you gotta go get yourself a table. It's two G's, three G's, uh, which is fun. Like you got some friends around. Yeah, yeah. I like doing it. But it's like I'm just there by myself. And I'm, I have to do it to like go out and really meet some meet some honeys. I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I will though. That's the problem. <laughs> For me, is that I will, <laughs> but I don't want to. But if in the scenario, I'm a showman. If I gotta do it, and you better damn well believe I'm gonna do it. And that's why I can't put myself in those situations. The other thing too is you're not cheap. Like you'll, you'll you throw down the wallet. I'll throw it, down. You throw it down. That's why I always try to stay away. I can't be trusted. That's why you know, like when we're at home, we don't keep any sugar in the house. We don't <laughs> keep any bread. We buy all the sandwich meat, and we don't have any bread because we're like, oh man. If I see it, I'll eat it. I know we did a video, you did a video on this where you talked about you know, a lot of things you like to carry. Did you kind of narrow it down to like a few, a few necessities that you always carry with you when you travel? What would they be? Spare credit cards, athletic greens for getting vitamins when you're on the road because you're going to not eat as well. <laughs> GoPro, camera. Right? What's the point of going out? You can't shame your friends on Facebook. <laughs> this guy, he's just got used to his shame game is really weak. But, you know, he's it's recently getting, like, getting, <laughs> he'll be going and I'll be like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going to leave some Instagram stories. I think people have been talking about my new profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now I'll say he's getting into that game. So, you know, you got to have a good, you got to have a good camera, your GoPro, some spare credit cards athletic greens and then really just your laptop i mean you don't really need much else um and of course i like to kind of keep like uh clothes that you can wear either dressy or casual so like i could have like a t-shirt like this but if i wear like a pair of chinos and maybe some nice shoes then it's all of a sudden dressy and if we're just like cruising around like this then I'm like super casual. Canal casual. KK. Is casual you spell K? No. <laughs> That's pretty good considering he's not even American. <laughs> I'm from the better part of North America. But 
I mean, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> so those are kind of the things I like to have, multifaceted stuff.